walk us through your fight with Jorge Masvidal. You you never took a corner with you. Why? Actually, I did. My student at the time was Pat Healy, and uh, I was going to take Pat. I had him all signed up. He was ready to go. And then uh, what was that show that uh, – Oh, Christ. Uh, it was the IFC, maybe? Uh, is that it? Or it was, oh, no, no, no. You're talking about the team. Uh, uh, IFL. The, yeah, the IFL. That was it. Yeah, anyways, Pat had gotten a call. Hey, we need you to fight out here on this deal. And, and you know, like we were set to leave two or three days, uh, you know, going to Russia and Pat's like, look, I can't, you know, I said, no, no, go do your deal. And, uh, I didn't, you know, again, I was just dumb. I was just like, that's fine. I'll go out. Cause I think I had, I had called Miguel and asked him to set me up with that fight with Masvidal. Uh, cause I, I believed I'd be able to beat him. And, uh, so Miguel did. And I, I was just like, all right, well, let's just go and fight. You know, it was just kind of the mindset I had at the time. And that was in uh, St. Petersburg. But was, was there a lot of trash talk before the, the bout? Because, you know, Jorge's kind of known for that. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm sure he was talking trash. I know I talked some trash to Miguel about it and stuff. And, uh, you know, as far as he and I talking beforehand, I don't know there was much going on. Now, there was a lot of talk while we were fighting. But, uh, yeah, you know, I caught that. Yeah, beforehand, no. So the, what, what happens to you when you see him and all the success he got like afterwards? Like, how do you feel? Like, are you happy for him? Like, like, cause Wisniewski fought him and Wisniewski's like happy. Like he likes everybody he fought except for George. He hates him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, here's the deal. I'm i uh, I'm happy for him because I, you know, if you watch 52 seconds into the third round, I tapped him. He, uh, he, he started tapping we were fighting in a ring. My legs were caught in a rope. I had a guillotine on them. And you tell me, I think it was 52 or 53 seconds into the uh, third round. Tell me what he was doing with his right hand if he wasn't tapping. You know, I think uh, I caught him in that choke. Uh, he starts doing like this underneath. And then he realizes my legs caught him because he, he started trying to circle out. When he circled out, he realized the pressure was off because I didn't have my leg up. Uh, uh, for the guard and me and the ref missed it totally at that time and of course you know I, I don't blame him he's not gonna say oh I tap and I didn't even realize it until uh, after it went on TV and my phone started blowing up people were calling me like hey I, I think you tapped him you tapped him so but so you know it's kind of neat to see it you know at least for for me and my friends we always just kind of laugh and joke about you know hey uh uh, you got him and uh <laughs> you know it just it is what it is you know